Hello and welcome to Win8 App Dev. Today I'm going to show you a really cool app called Photo Editor Plus. You can find it in the Windows 8 store. Basically, <clears throat> this app is a photo editor, but it also has some really cool features for um, application developers. It has some predefined sizes that you can resize your images or icons to. As you can see here, it's got um, logo, store logo, small logo, splash screen. Those are all Windows 8 icon sizes. And when this app uh, resizes your icons for you, it names them logo, store logo, small logo, and splash screen. Now, to uh, any regular person, this means absolutely nothing. But for any app developer, you know that this will save you a whole lot of time and pretty much save you a whole lot of headache. This is the application that I use every time I submit an application to the store and it is absolutely fantastic so it does Windows 8 icons Windows 8 promotional images you actually need at least one of these in order to get your app featured in the Windows 8 store so these are very important the more the better but a minimum of at least one so this takes care of it for you. Uh, it also does Windows Phone. It does the flip cycle tiles. It does the application icon. It does the iconic tiles, your splash screen, and the two store images during submission. The, the 1000 by 800 and the 300 by 300. You can also uh, use whatever custom size you want. as you can see here and you've got a choice between 10 different file formats that you can convert your image to and you can also create a folder <clears throat> and this is oops this is where your images will be saved so right now we're going to launch the image editor Oh, oops. Forgot I gotta find a different image for this. Let's see. Okay. So, when you're doing resizing, which is what I just showed you, you can select multiple folders for batch uh, image processing or you can select multiple uh, images and process them all at the same time but when you're editing photos in the photo editor you can only edit one image at a time which makes sense because I don't know how you would um, apply these effects, stickers, orientation, all that stuff to multiple images at the same time because it just it's just not possible. So you've got enhance, which you've got auto, night, backlit, balance. You've got effects, <clears throat> all these down here. I'm not going to go through everything in this application. Basically, all I want to do is um, show you how to actually uh, apply some of these effects and generate the images because a lot of uh, people that have downloaded this application have had a hard time figuring out how to actually generate the image after uh, applying the effects. So that is what this tutorial is all about.
So let's do this. My wife's going to be mad at me, but oh well. Let's get a big cigar here. Very big. I'm just kidding. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. Make it uh, realistic at least. Okay. So when you're done editing or applying whatever effect, stickers, you simply press apply. Then you press done. Once you do this, you get brought back to this screen. Uh, one more thing. You can also use this to um, crop right here in the application interface. Anyhow, <clears throat> so let's pick some small sizes here. And I uh, didn't really want any of those, but let's see. Okay, so from here, I've um, created a folder, or I've named a folder, AB, and now I am going to hit Generate, and as you can see, where we are in the desktop, this is uh, where you will actually save the image to. So right now, we're saving it to the desktop, hit OK and it should be on my desktop which as you can see it says AB so that's it let's go look at them okay so I've got a 300 by 300 a 400 by 400 then I've got the logo the small logo and the store logo and the reason that these don't look proportional is because as you can see I created um, or I resized to a perfect square image on these and the picture was um, I think like a 1260 by a 768 so that's why it's kind of misproportional <clears throat> but as you can see this is how it works and it does work so this is the end of the tutorial I hope you guys learned something and <clears throat> thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks.